Hello, and once again, welcome to another exciting course brought to you by your friends here at Tuts Plus. My name is Derek Jensen, and once again in this course, we're going to be diving into a topic that I have recorded a few courses on here for Tuts Plus, and I've taken a little bit of a break for almost a year, and it's been strategic, really, and why I've waited this long to cover this next topic for a couple of reasons. But I'm going to introduce to you the concept of Xamarin Forms. And you might think to yourself, well, haven't you already done everything you can with Xamarin? I've, I've gone over several of these topics. What is there else to learn? Well, in order to truly understand what else you can learn, you have to start back at the beginning. So if you recall, quite some time ago, almost a year ago, I created an Android, uh, building an Android app in C Sharp with Xamarin Course, where I kind of took you through the process of building a an Android app using Xamarin and C Sharp, which went pretty well, and it's a pretty cool technology. And then we, we branched out of Android and into iOS, and we did a very similar project, a very similar course, using C Sharp and Xamarin to target the iOS platform. And then from that point, the next logical step was to really look into how can we leverage this technology in using a common language in C Sharp and a common platform, namely Xamarin, to share some code across these projects so that we can, as developers, create these new mobile applications that target both Android and iOS and share some of that code between the two. And that's where the multi-platform apps in C Sharp with Xamarin came from. So in this course, we talked a lot about code sharing strategies and what cross-platform development is and using portable class libraries and shared projects and, and going through that entire process. And it really allows you to share a lot of code, not as much as possible, but a lot of code across these types of platforms and projects to really lessen the amount of work that you have to do overall. The next step in the evolution of Xamarin that has taken some time to evolve and recently with the release of Xamarin Forms 1.3, we're really getting some very powerful things that we can use to create or to enhance these cross-platform apps to now include creating cross-platform UIs. Now, I know that sounds a little crazy, and if you've never really looked into Xamarin Forms very much, this may seem like an impossible option. Well, with Xamarin Forms, it is absolutely possible, and it's not only possible, but extremely powerful. So over the duration of this course, I'm going to take you through the process of learning about Xamarin Forms, how to create Xamarin Forms projects, and how to answer all of those little questions that you have burning in the back of your mind, like, well, how do I create these shared UIs? How do I customize them for different platforms? How do I do all sorts of different things like that in a common way on such different platforms. And you'll see along the way that it's actually quite simple. So hang in there. We're going to have a good time creating some, some very cool things with Xamarin Forms. And I can't wait to see you throughout this course.